Hi there, this is Noah with ERS. This is going to be a brief tutorial on how to use our cash register point of sale system for your restaurant. So I'm logged into the cash register app. I'm going to go ahead and click on food and drinks. And we've got a lunch and a dinner menu. That mods button tells me that these are items that can be modified. So I'm going to add a cheeseburger to the cart. I'm going to go ahead and add double meat, an avocado, and a fried egg. And then we can click on finish. It's going to update that receipt and then we can go ahead and click on pay to cash out. So let's go ahead and cash the customer out. Let's add a nice generous tip. I bet all your customers are that generous, right? Right. Anyway, so that's going to go ahead and print a, a receipt for the customer, but it's also going to print some tickets for our kitchen printers. So we can see in this account we've got two, uh, two printers set up for the kitchen and one for the drink station. You can limit the scope of the items as far as where they print. So for example, you want your drinks going only to the drink station and not into the kitchen so that your line cooks aren't being notified every time someone orders a soda and vice versa, the people uh, manning your drink station aren't notified every time someone orders a cheeseburger. So that's how that works. It's designed to be lightning quick and user friendly and simple. I also want to just briefly show up, uh, show off. I'm sorry, some some of our cool features in the back end of the system that help you with things like inventory management. So I've set these items up as packages, and what that allows me to do is it allows me to actually track all of these items. So a cheeseburger is actually a package that has one hamburger bun, one hamburger patty, one um, you know serving of ketchup, etc. And then if somebody orders double meat it's going to actually add another hamburger patty to that order and I'm using a special display name so that because we know what we're tracking is hamburger patties but the system says double meat because that's when you're going to be prompted to add another hamburger patty to that uh, burger if, if the customer wants it so and these items are set to no for display uh, for display to customer meaning that they're not going to have their own they're not going to have uh, be on your website and they're not going to be on your red your cash register as individual items the only item that's going to show up on your cash register is cheeseburger but we still do need the system to manage all of that inventory and you can see that every time someone orders a cheeseburger it's going to count down those items so that you can track your inventory and you can see that, for example, the hamburger uh, patties are, are lower than the hamburger buns because a bunch of people have ordered double meat. And we started with a thousand with all of these items. So there's all kinds of cool stuff like that. We've got uh, categories and secondary categories, uh, the, which means that, the, for example, the cheeseburger and the hamburger are going to show up in both your lunch uh, and dinner menu, whereas the meatloaf dinner is only going to show up in your dinner menu. There's also a report that you can run that will tell you what your inventory count is looking like so that you can see at a glance what items you're going to need to order soon. So I hope this helps. Please do feel free to reach out if you have any further questions and have a great day.